Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you everything you need to know about the Steamworks. Now, the Steamworks is pretty cool. It's a place where you're going to get a whole bunch of different items. And it is the only place where you can unlock Steamwork tickets. You can unlock this lovely gear. Now, in order to get all of these different items, you're going to need to feed the Steamwork. Now, the Steamwork can produce steam by using fuel, which can be generated by competing quests or selecting fuel from your inventory. Now, what you want to do is basically fill it up and get it to the end and get yourself some rewards. Easier said than done. But I'm going to show you exactly how you can get everything right here in the Steamworks. Now, they have some lovely wards as you can see. We got Celestial Plants, we got Vouchers, and of course those lovely Steamwork tickets. Now, when it comes to adding fuel, you're gonna go into your inventory and just add whatever you want to add. Basically, fuel for the fire. Now, this is gonna kinda work like a steam train engine. You know, when you're feeding coal to the fire, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just keep increasing this gauge. Now, it does actually convert this fuel. You don't have to do that. That's totally up to you. Now, in order to get this fuel into the Steamworks, you're gonna have to press a correct sequence of buttons. You press these too many times incorrectly, and then you will lose all your fuel. You're gonna have to refuel the engine again to get started. Now there is about 0.5 seconds where if you get the sequence wrong, the palicos will show you the correct order. So you got to really pay attention to this. And if you do, you can keep feeding fuel to the fire and then you get your random rewards as you can see right here to the left. But we need to go after these scene tickets and these celestial prints. How do we get those? So. In order to get those, you want to keep feeding fuel to the fire, like I said. And you see that steam gauge is now into the red. It's because you want to get it, fill it all the way up to the yellow, and then it's going to click back down. You're going to fill it all the way up to the red, and then it's going to come to this new entry into filling up the steam. You know, it's pretty much going into overdrive. Now, here you're going to have pretty much the same thing to do. Now, what I found to be very helpful is when I get things wrong or just didn't pay attention to what the palico told me because it goes really fast. I just went from left to right. Just go one, two, three, four. Even if I got it wrong, just keep doing that. And then I would say about seven times out of ten, I was hitting it where I was getting them correct or I was at least getting two out of three correct and I was able to keep filling up the steam as you can see right here. Now, I didn't get the sequence correct all the time. But as you can see right here, I would say seven times out of 10, going from left to right, I would get two out of three quick or one out of three quick. And that allowed me to continue to filling up that bar right here in the Steamworks. So once you get that bar pretty much all the way done, you're going to have this happen to you. Go time, felines. Give us the go side. Now, if you keep feeding the Steamworks and you're getting that red bar pretty much all the way filled, you're going to go into Go Time. Now, Go Time is pretty cool. Now, the Palicos is going to tell you exactly what order you want to get, and then this happens. Now that was pretty cool. You get all of that cutscene because that's right, you nailed it. You are getting those rewards, baby. Look at all of that. Silver Egg, Gourmet Vulture, you get the Dust of Life, you get the Simple Lights as well, including the Celestial Wave Room print. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you do the Steamworks. And once again, you want to get that Clockwork Armor. It's pretty cool when you're starting off right here in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. So yeah, that's pretty much going to end it for this video. As always, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to help out the channel in the video, you can do so by liking the video if you indeed like the video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.